Disturbing revelations in week one of the criminal sex trafficking trial of Ghislaine Maxwell, the longtime companion and alleged accomplice, accomplice of convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. On Friday, defense lawyers grilled Epstein's former house manager about his damning testimony the day prior uh, when he told jurors that many women visited the home, including some of the underage accusers. He read from an employee manual that instructed, you see nothing, hear nothing, say nothing. And he said Maxwell told him personally that she was the lady of the house. Prosecutors also brought in a green collapsible massage table that was recovered from Jeffrey Epstein's Palm Beach Villa, among other adult items. And joining me now is journalist Vicki Ward. She's the executive producer of Chasing Ghislaine, uh, streaming now on Discovery+. Plus. Uh, Vicki, what do you make of this uh, testimony on the atmosphere at uh, Epstein's home uh, and the manual detailing instructions for staff to remain, uh, you know, very discreet about all of this, to maintain extreme discretion. What, what can you tell us? Well, so, uh, Jim, when Juan Alesi uh, testified about that manual on Thursday, um, he described it as very degrading. Um, and certainly, um, it, you know, it went on for pages and pages and pages. Um, and you could see how visibly uh, affronted he was to have been given uh, a booklet like that. And I think that, you know, it's quite possible that the jury found uh, the sort of snobbery that was implicit in it kind of repellent. However, when Juan Alesi was cross-examined by M Maxwell's defense team, uh, they really poked holes at his credibility, pointing out that what he had said in court last week under oath about his own history with Jeffrey Epstein, about the fact that he said he'd, uh, he'd have stolen money from him once, was in fact not true. Under oath, in previous testimony, uh, he had said that he had stolen twice from Jeffrey Epstein. And that, you know, I could see jurors nodding, you know, shaking their heads at this, you know, that that seemed to be uh, a successful strategy for the defense to, to really strike at his credibility. And this week, we also heard from Epstein's personal pilot. Uh, he listed some of the high rollers who flew on Epstein's private jets, including uh, Prince Andrew, former President Clinton, uh, former President Trump, uh, as well as a pair of former senators. Uh, these men aren't accused of wrongdoing. Uh, at least not in this circumstance, but uh, is this why, according to your reporting, people in high society are bracing for the fallout from this trial? So I think people are uh, bracing, possibly, for being named in this trial. We've already heard some names of powerful men that, you know, I certainly didn't know, ha had known Jeffrey Epstein before, Fidel Castro uh, mm -hmm. being being one. Uh, but I think the other point of all of this is, you know, the defense will argue that all these famous people uh, show how Jeffrey Epstein was able to camouflage uh, himself. And they, I suspect they will uh, argue uh, that in part, you know, Ghislaine Maxwell was compartmentalized from uh, Jeffrey Epstein's life. That's certainly what they said in their opening arguments. Uh, and let's play a clip from your special that gets into the dynamic between Maxwell and Epstein. Sources who knew them during this time told me that he insisted she lose weight and that she did, that he could be incredibly abusive to her in public, and she put up with it in silence. Is Maxwell also a victim of Epstein's abuse and manipulation, do you think? What, I mean, what do you make of that question? And do you expect the defense to play up that angle? So, it's complicated, Jim. Yeah. We did hear yeah. from Juan Alesi under cross-examination by Ghislaine Maxwell's defense lawyer how Jeffrey Epstein would ask the house manager to remove all photographs of Ghislaine Maxwell on weekends or periods of time when he wanted to invite other women to come and stay. And the, the, the defense suggested that this was a secret between the house manager uh, and Epstein. So, you know, clearly this was an attempt uh, to show how manipulative Epstein was and that Maxwell 
was someone who was a victim, if you want to use that word, of those uh, manipulations. Having said all of that, so far, I don't think you've seen uh, the defense try necessarily uh, to, to play up the fact that she was manipulated by Jeffrey Epstein. I think what, what they're trying to do is separate her from, from Jeffrey Epstein's uh, sort of rather clear criminality.